Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So every time I leave, there's always a stupid trade like this that happens when I'm out and I can't do a video quick. But this one, when I saw it, just upset me. Upset me. I love what the Devils did at the draft yesterday. Um, I like what they did today in, in trading off John Marino for two second round picks. I thought that was a great move by Fitzgerald. And I like what he did with the draft, drafting some big players in defense and goaltending and forward. Um, so he is going into that role of adding some muscle to this team. I like that for the future. But to trade off two of your better picks for a third, fourth line guy, I don't get it. This is such a trade that is so upsetting when you see it coming coming across your feed. And, um, you know, let's talk about it because it's just one of those trades where the Vegas Golden Knights won this hands down. I know Fitzgerald's trying to get this, trying to banking on the, the potential upside of Paul Cotter, but I totally don't get this. And I guarantee you, I'll say this right now, Alexander Holtz and Akira Schmidt are going to take off with the Vegas Golden Knights. So if you're watching this and you're a Vegas Golden Knights fan, you won this trade today. I'm sorry. You got two potentially good prospects while giving up basically nothing. I know Paul Cotter was a fan favorite there, but... um. Yeah, they won this trade hands down, so let's talk about it in this video. So the New Jersey Devils trade Alexander Holtz and Akira Schmid for forward Paul Cotter and a third-round pick in the 2025 draft. So let's talk about Paul Cotter a little. He's 24 years old, uh, listed as a center, 6'2", 212 pounds. He's the Vegas Golden Knights 2018 fourth-round pick. Uh, he carries a $775,000 cap hit. And um, looking at his stats this year, he played in 76 games, 7 goals, 18 assists for 25 points. So he's basically a third or fourth line guy that you're trading away for two good prospects in Holtz and Schmidt. Looking over at Alexander Holtz, he's 22 years old, right wing, left wing, 6 foot, 192 pounds. He our, was our 2020 first round 7th uh, overall pick. Uh, currently making 895k, which expires at the end of the 24-25 season. In 82 games this year, he put up 16 goals, 12 assists, 28 points. So I see the points disparity between um, Paul Cotter and Holtz. They both put up similar points. Holtz got three more points while playing in um, a lot more games. So you know, there's that. I don't know if Fitzgerald was looking at that, but let's head over to Akira Schmidt, 24 years old, six foot five, 205 goal ten. 205 pound goaltender. He was our fifth round 208. Uh, he was our fifth round 2018 pick. Uh, currently in RFA, he's making 850 thousand that he made this year, and his contract is up at at the end of this year that just passed. Uh, he split time between Utica and New Jersey for this past season, and with the Devils, he played in 19 games. He went five nine and one, point eight nine five save percentage, and a three point one five GAA. So. <sighs> this trade, you know, when you when you saw it coming across your feeds, I, you know, I'm sure a lot of Devils fans were like, "Who's Paul Cotter?" And exactly, when you're making a trade like this, when you're giving up your two of your better name prospects for a player you don't recognize, of course you're gonna get upset. Now I understand the reasoning behind this. You're getting Paul Cotter because he's a bigger guy. He had like over 200 hits this year, so you need that physicality. I get that. I get that. He's a big guy, 6'2", 212 pounds. You know, has somewhat good hands, but Paul, even Tom Fitzgerald said, we're banking on the upside of Paul Cotter. So, I don't I don't get this. Was it a, a Vegas thing? You're in Vegas and you wanted to make a splash like this happen? I, I just don't get it. I really don't. You know, looking at Alexander Holtz, he, he played, he averaged around eight minutes a night, playing on our fourth line, basically, under a coach that we, tr we, we, let, we fired and got a new one. And, um, you know, why didn't they just give him the year? See what he could have done under a different coach. I, I just, I, I don't get it. Give him a, another opportunity. I know, I know we've given Holtz uh, more and more opportunities, but we've seen some players it does take a little bit longer to, to get at the NHL game. And you saw this year, he had such a vast improvement. He played eight minutes a night and he put up 16 goals. What happens if you give him 13, 14 minutes a night? He's going to score 20, 25 goals? And you're giving that up for a third, fourth line guy? I, I just... I can't fathom this trade. I really can't. Then you head over to Akira Schmidt. It's not like we could just give uh, Holtz away. We had to throw in Schmidt for this one, too. Um, you know, Schmidt single-handedly won us the Rangers series a couple years back. So there is that potential for him to be a better goaltender with better defense in front of him. And what does Vegas have? Better defense. 
Watch him go there and shine now. Watch. I understand that the Vegas Golden Knights were in a situation where they needed a backup goaltender. They just traded away Logan Thompson today. And they, they got a good one in Akira Schmidt. I, I guarantee you, if you give this guy some time, this, this guy is going to be good for them in the future. And I, Fitzgerald just lost his trade today. I'm sorry. He lost his trade. I liked everything he did today. I liked the Marino trade. I like what he did with the draft. But when it came to this, I, I just I can't even think of a reason to do this video of why it would be good for us. I understand what Paul Cotter brings. We need that element on our team. But you're giving up Holtz and a, a, a goaltender for, for nothing. I, I don't get it. Why not throw more into the trade and try to get Barbashev from them? The Vegas Golden Knights are up against the cap. Why not try to do that? Maybe they wanted to free up some money to, to sign Jonathan March or so. I don't know. But <laughs> I just I don't get this trade today. I really I, I don't understand this trade. I saw it. I tried to reason behind it. I looked up Paul Cotter because I wasn't I've seen him play, but I'm not too familiar with his background and you know what his stats are and all that. I had to look that up, but which I'm sure a lot of Vegas fans don't know of Holtz or, or Schmidt too much. So they had to do their due diligence with that too. But, you know, us knowing Holtz and us knowing Schmidt and what they're capable of, if they're giving more of an opportunity, you know, you give them more time. What happens if their numbers got better? And I don't know. I just don't get this. I have a feeling that both of these two players are going to go to Vegas. They're going to have a hell of a career. I, I just, I have the feeling. Or they could be total bust. I don't know. But, you know, with Holtz... Holtz had a soft spot with us, with us fans. You know, we were rooting for him to, to get more opportunity to play. You know, to just to, to show what he can do, given more minutes. You know, eight minutes a night, and you're putting up 16 goals. I just, I don't get it. And Schmidt, too. So Schmidt, I could understand. His numbers were low this year. You know, his save percentage and his GAA and his save percentage weren't as good as it was uh, since the, that whole uh, playoff run we had against the Rangers, but... Man, since then, he's had a fall-off. But what happens if he has another opportunity somewhere else and he plays better? And that's what happens when you want with some of these trades. You want your players to go off and get a better opportunity with the change of scenery. Maybe they could revamp their career. And I don't know with this. I don't know. This is one of those trades where you try to justify why your GM would do that. And, you know, I've stuck it up for Tom Fitzgerald in every single one of my videos. But I... In the comments, I am not going to in this one because this trade, I am not a fan of. He lost this trade and, you know, I, I just don't know. Unless he has some magic up his hat when, when free agency starts on Monday of who he's going to sign and we don't know it yet, I don't know. This this was just a bad ending to today which with, with this whole, with, with our roster. You know, to trade out Holtz and Schmidt for a, a third, fourth line guy, I just, I don't get it. I mean, I was hoping we would try to get Barbashev from the Vegas Golden Knights. I was going to do videos on that, too. Glad I didn't at this point, but <laughs> comment below. I don't even know what else to say, but comment below. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button and join the Hockey Skate Down. It's free. And uh, have a great rest of the night and have a great day tomorrow. Take it easy.